One of the key things that we've learned about innovation through this process is um, testing repeatedly and early. Um, the technology use case that we initially envisioned when I first reached out to Jacob has, has changed slightly um, and that came through market feedback so you have to be very very um, open to kind of iterating quickly. There's the, the Allen Ginsberg quote about killing your darlings which I think is pretty apt when it comes to, uh, to ideas and I'm wrong most of the time uh, but I know it which I think is the, is the crucial point. Um, and so that, that is, a, that is a, a really, really important thing about innovation. The, the other thing that I think that we've learned, especially because we have an R&D department, is that um, R&D is often, um, it, it's, a, it's a really, really hard thing to do innovation. So one, you can't buy it. You can buy the ingredients of innovation. And that's broadly what we're trying to do. We're trying to sell the ingredients of innovation. First, we're going to sell software applications to large corporate R&D departments. Then we're going to try and broker introductions to the right talent. Eventually, we'll start brokering introductions to the right suppliers and materials until we become a kind of a one-stop shop for the ingredients of innovation. Um, so that's one of the most important things that, that we've learned. We have a large, uh, a series of large deployments um, currently with big enterprise clients. Um, so we'll be focusing on making sure that, that um, both parties get the most amount of value out of that. Um, but we're always taking on new partners and we're growing very rapidly. Uh, the team over the next year, I think, will grow to, I think, probably over 20. Um, we have a pretty extraordinary product and feature launch cycle. We, launch, um, we launched a new product over it took us about a month to launch a new product. We launch a couple of features every two weeks. Um, so we move very, very, very rapidly. Um, the expertise locator, so finding people that are similar to your idea is something that's gonna be coming in the next few months. Um, and then I imagine at some point we will uh, go out for another round of fundraising to, to accelerate our growth and potentially move beyond the US market as well. Yeah, so um, the, our, our current product um, is uh, called uh, Legit Invent, and uh, it's an application for engineers, researchers, and scientists to uh, identify what they're, whether what they're working on is new um, in comparison to other inventions, pieces of technical literature. So we use natural language processing to identify how similar two pieces of technical literature are. So your idea and then what's gone beforehand. Um, it will also start to identify other people within your organization who have similar ideas or similar talents to try and create kind of, you know, Navy SEAL teams to really tackle hard problems, to identify those collaboration opportunities early, and also identify partner, potential partners outside of the, uh, uh, the corporation that you work for. But it's all based on the comparison of two pieces of technical text of, of any length, really.